snap and Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey. New faces? Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. What's your story, Jimmy Bob? That's snapping, Jimmy Bob. Thank you. Uh, what's your story, snapping Jimmy Bob? Not that much to tell. My dad was a traitor, and a good one. And now I'm a traitor, and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. What's the contraption on the end of your stall? Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Uh, Alright, what have you got? A Snickers? This man died from a slashed throat, but the killer didn't stop there. Card into the corpse's chest and neat letters or words, Hello Rangers, thank you for my freedom. Oh. Well. Artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated scar collectors at the legendary battle of Punkin Center where the Patriarch defeated the savage warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. Uh you guys mannequins? Yep. Blaze and active. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? Oh, what's that? They get down from the display. Deluge canned beans, a can of baked beans from the bunker where the Patriarch's family waited out the deluge of fire. Canned food like this was all they had to eat, unlike today when the Patriarch has provided us with fresh greenhouse grown vegetables. Oh, uh, what is this? That is America in a gun. monster uniform. The uniform of a soldier in the monster army, the gang that terrorized Colorado Springs until the Patriarch defeated them and won their fealty. The bullet holes and blood show the fierceness of the fighting. Uh, that's Santa Claus? No. <laughs> Definitely a gang in the monster army. Worm and formaldehyde. Jar of formaldehyde containing a large worm like creature with a clawed tail and gaping mouth. Bully design label reads Fetal Slide Rock Bolter. You decide. What do we got here? A 
Ca Casio watch. Stylish, but it's long stopped working. Ah, new to her introduction version 1. Play in case no staff is present. Romancing the ghost. Stirring paranormal romance about one woman and her ectoplasmic paramour. Shotgun now for uh, Valkyrie. And the coach gun. 260 years old, still protecting the frontier. Let's see here. Uh, There's four ammo capacity, not just two. That's gonna be her secondary. Ooh, old baldy, old baldy. A mechanical eagle in a red, white, and blue top hat slumps on a rustic perch. Why, hello there! My name's old baldy, and this here is the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. Or, as I like to call it, home. Me and my friends here are dedicated to telling the story of old Saul Buchanan. And the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Now, just uh, stroll from stage to stage, and we'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. Any questions before you go? Uh, tell us Buchanan's story. Well, I don't want to spoil the show, but it begins with Saul's humble start in this very town. And it follows the trials and tribulations he faced uniting the hundred families, defeating the monster army, and bringing peace and security to Colorado. And, in case you were worried, it's suitable for children of all ages. Oh, thank God. Oh. Did Buchanan make this museum for himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such egotistical shenanigans. No, sir. It was the hundred families who built this place as a gracious thank you to the patriarch for all he's done for them. Are you the American Eagle? Look just like my picture, don't I? Now, ah, wait a minute. Let me give you my good side. There you go. Nice. I gotta admit, though, I'm looking better than I was. <laughs> Life's been pretty tough on old Baldy since the world went to pot. Lost a lot of feathers. But now that Patriarch Buchanan's rebuilding America, I'm starting to feel like my old self again. Well, good for you, old baldy. That's all we want to know, thanks. Great! Then on with the show! Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Learn to read and write before he could walk. Finished all his schooling before he could talk. Showed all his teachers a thing or two when he taught them that a fact didn't have to be true. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The strongest what a man. of men. You the strongest. can say that again. I will. What's this? A traitor's weapon. 
sword of Neleus Dorsey, who led his clan in an attempted coup against the Patriarch. Neleus and the Dorseys were defeated after a treacherous attempt on the Patriarch's life. Now they are no more. Well, that's not necessarily true, because the Dorseys are out here killing people. I couldn't tell if this was the uh, the intro or if this was uh, where we end. Uh, is this the end or is this the intro? Then came the gangs of the eastern plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Oh, saw saw him coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, "You're all nothing but a pack of thieves, strong as an ox at three." He faced down the savages again and again That drove them back to the desolate east And secured for Colorado an endless peace Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man The truest of men You could say that again Well, I'm assuming that was the end of the show, so we're just gonna go around this way instead. With the families behind him, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler, surrender his crown. Flap the inhaler. I see. So that's why the monsters are out there in the little circus tent. Oh, what's this? The Hundred Concords, the original and authentic treaty that united the hundred families under the Patriarch's rule for the safety of the people of Colorado, signed by the Patriarch himself and representatives of each of the families. Marshals and Dorsey's got on him. He glances up from looting the corpses. Those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. All right. Ow, you stabbed me. Fire. Oh, God. Assessing the target. Tch. Thanks for not shooting. I assume that's normal difficulty for you. 
She has a shotgun now. Oh, but I didn't reload it. Because I'm a big dumb. Alright, we'll go with the pistol for now. You're dead. shoot here nice all right worked out oh I didn't even I forgot all about you ow ow Get him, Major Tomcat. Yeah. Mess her up. Oh, snow balls. Snow pile. The snow drift is just the right balance of density and wetness to pack snowballs on the snow pile. I mean, you could. And then I would give you snow. Yellow snow. But what do just snowballs give you? Throwing like a grenade, but it's snow threat. Throw it. Uh, target character, leave them just a little bit colder. Heads up. Applies frozen. I don't know what that would do. A little tinge of snow can make for some serious gross snowballs. Ah, oh, an Uzi. I mean, I could take that as my secondary. I assume it's a 9mm, yeah. And it does more damage. But I also don't have uh, as high of a hit chance with it. used cat litter and sack of cat bones. Oh no. Clump cat litter and little chocolate nuggets. Wait, that's not chocolate. Sans like Sans Lux. Sounds fancy. The intercom crackles and a woman's voice addresses you. Bry goes Little Vegas. Place is closed. Bry go wants us to stand in the cold and make sure you know it. Place is closed. Bry go wants us to stand in the cold and make sure it. Place is closed. Bry go wants us to stand in the cold and make sure you know it. You guys sound the exact same. Are you clones? Unshaven and slovenly, Marshal Lupensky shifts his unlit, half-smoked cigar to the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Don't take that tone of voice with the Rangers, Lupinski. Or what, Quan? You gonna arrest me? Fine, fine. What do you want? What's behind this gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farm. And now those fucking Dorseys. Oh. What would it take to get through the gate? Sheriff Daisy say so. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. Poof. 
say that's it. No room Good for stuff. amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Got lock picking level six. Could just blast my way through there. No entry by order of Sheriff Dayton. I've already been in. Loser. Would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys! They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. A scrawny old man with a shotgun? Oh, hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? Uh, could I help? Sarnet, you Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! The old man is shouting into the nearby shop and waving a shotgun around. Hush up now, Josiah! You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. When she notices you, an expression of relief crosses her face. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Yeah, he will. What's going on here? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after him. Oh, uh, why don't you ask the marshals for help? They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Uh, look, why don't you let us professionals handle this? You want some help killing Dorsey's we're in? It's really none of our business. Why don't you let us professionals handle Thank this? You. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? He shakes his head, then turns to you. you do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, go on then. You got it. Now well, let's see if we can position ourselves here. I done told you! Don't come any closer! You morons are holed up in a clothing store, put on some new duds and just walk out of town. Only good Dorsey's a dead Dorsey. Cool down guys, we just want to talk. again for taking care of those Dorseys. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Simple enough. A safe? Deputy Marshal Pitts, the youngest guard, uh, the young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hand. By up. order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Uh, what kind of authorization do we need? An invitation from the head of a family, or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Uh, what's through the gate? Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. He clearly feels the job does not include expansive descriptions. Good day. Extra, extra! Cowardly attack on Colorado Springs! New in town? 
Did you hear about what happened? This young man is still in his teens. He carries numerous copies of a newspaper, the Colorado Patriot. Uh, we hear there's been trouble. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. What do you know about the Dorseys? Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. Thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Where can I find Sheriff Daisy? Oh, Marshall Station. Right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Uh, you guys use pillories. You report the news around here? Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot. Only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. And what they should think about it. Okay. <laughs> be careful. Might still be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. Dorsey scum! Uh, well... Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs! How does it feel Family's now? taken hostage! Yo, How what's up? Now? You guys an angry mob? No regret! No regret! This Dorsey scum killed unarmed people. No mercy on your souls, Colorado! <laughs> Alright, you guys got like straight gallows here. Death to Buchanan! Death to the hundred stinking family! Mom? Mom? Oh, I... Sorry. Never mind. Uh, just a minute. Can we talk to you? Uh, what? Why? Uh, what do you want? Uh, I don't know. Need help? No, please. I just need you to go away. Please. You expecting your mother? Where is she? I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. Uh... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> you got separated? There, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage. Two. Two. I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Well, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, bye. Refugees have set up impromptu shelters around the square, even with the city's heat. They must be freezing. What did we do to them? Goddamn Dorsey's shot refugees and Coloradans alike. What did we do to them? We got a spot right here. Before I check that out, I'm gonna explore a little bit more. Oh, those are Dorsey's. Bodies of Dorsey slain in the recent incursion were tossed haphazardly, haphazardly into this frozen fountain. Alright, people. Rangers were for anyone who needs her help. Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. 
Uh, all right. What happened? Why was your son sentenced to death? I don't know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Uh, who's your son? Austin Pease. The skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm going to lose him, too. Well, don't worry, ma'am. We'll get your son out of this situation. Please, help my son. Stop there. Of course he's going to die for what they've done. How can you be dead? Bastards! Picture glooms over the pillory, surveying the punishments of the guilty. Austin, talk to me. Teenage prisoners gaunt and pale as hair is uh, tussled and greasy, his face angular with hunger. Uh, he stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him, snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. I just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How'd you get in trouble with the marshals? A real big mistake. See. The Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food, some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Well, why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. The Dorseys gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. You broke the law, you got caught. This seems like justice. Doesn't sound like the punishment fits the crime. Hmm. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. I got a daring escape plan. What's your sentence? Let's say we can free you. What's it worth to you? What's your Magistrate sentence? Magistrate tells me it's dead. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. No, I was never known desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. He swallows hard, his eyes on the pillories. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Uh, right. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work if you'll have me. Oh, okay. You'd be a follower. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know. Interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. He shakes his head. All right. Nice we'll go talk to the magistrate. This kid's going in the pillories next. I hope you die slow. Uh, 
Uh, this dour man looks at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face and his thin lips press together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Oh, that's good. Which reminds me, that Dorsey you requested stand trial? <laughs> He was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories. A waste of my time. He did have this note, though, which you may find interesting. Yeah, I mean, as long as he got a trial. Austin says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Uh, he took the job only because he was starving. True justice would free him and let him work to redeem himself for his minor infraction. But the Rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship. He's not a bad kid, and he's... All his mother has, kill him, and you might as well kill her. Alright, he took the job only because he was starving to just free him and let him work to redeem himself for his minor infractions. Mm. I am not certain you truly understand the Patriarch's justice, but your words ring true. Perhaps death is too severe a punishment. He thinks Moma tapping his lips. This is irregular. But it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. Okay. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Yes, sir. How does it feel now? Bastards! Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. Well, guess what? You are free. We talked to the magistrates. Is it release you? But you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life, and and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank nice. you. Sa I thank hope you. you. Thank die you. Slow. So now we got a doctor Dorsey and we got scum. this dude. Dorsey scum. <laughs> old jailer. Too old to fight the Dorseys, they said. Ha! An interrogation. This gazette is blank and appears well used, as if taped over many times. Another coach gun. And, uh, uh, panels. Also, we have that note that I'm gonna need to read.
Good cop, bad cop, and a swinging exposed light bulb. Classic. Lucia Wesson. Ah, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Tenterhooks. Are you always this rude? What kind of help do you need from the marshals? Ruffians. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. Uh, the marshals seem a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Who are you? What exactly is going on here? Guess you'll have to wait your turn. We've got an appointment. We'll talk to the sheriff. See what we can do. Marshals seem a bit overwhelmed. That may be. But my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Uh, is there anyone here who you think should get less consideration than you? <laughs> I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Who are you, anyway? My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys, and... And I fear for their lives. Uh, can you tell us more about the Hundred Families? We are the founding families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the Patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. What exactly is going on here? Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. Who are the Dorseys? No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. Uh, okay. Do were the ears and ranges we could help you? Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. I mean, we could be. No. Thanks all the same. But I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. Please put in a word to the sheriff for me. I can if do that. If she only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. Miss West. Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Uh, what are you working on? Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been... exhausting. Any advice on how to handle Sheriff Daisy? <laughs> Don't blink. Can you tell us about the marshals? It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Alright. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Sheriff wants to speak to you, Rangers. How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum when the attack started. Jesus! 
fucking Dorsey's? I'm... I'm sure she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. I was just over there. Ah, oh, that's sure, Daisy. Where else we got? Coffee makers. Marshall must go through a bunker's worth of coffee every day. Alright, Marshall. Or not Marshall, Sheriff. 